Hey guys, um, got some things I want to show you here. Me and uh, Tasha, we were out promoting our coffee, Woods Walker Coffee. And we was up in an area that's highly active with Bigfoot reports. I'm not going to give the area out, but I will show you what we found. We decided to go squatching around 6, 6.30 that night. And we went down this long dirt road and we come across some tracks. Now, my first thought when I saw this was possibly a bear track. But then after looking at it, I don't think it is, guys, but I'm going to leave that to y'all to decide. The reason I say this is the stride between this track and the next one was way over six foot, okay? Now, bears have four legs. This was only two tracks found in some mud, like it was coming through the area, and maybe it was walking on its tiptoes. But one thing I think is interesting is there's a gap between the toes and the gap right there between that toe and the little one. Also, it has some hair right there on the side of it, as you can see right there. Yeah, if you don't mind turning it for me. See that hair right there, guys? That's a black hair. But also it has like a little bit of brown or red up in there. But again, like I said, y'all decide. I mean, it's, it's up to you. You can say Bigfoot, you can say bear. It's up to you. But my thing is, like I said, a bear has four legs. And the stride between this track and the next one was way over six foot. And there was only two tracks going through the mud. So I'm thinking maybe it possibly could have been walking on its tiptoes. That's what I'm thinking. But, again, I'll let y'all decide. But, you know, I, I just don't know, guys. I really don't. If it's a bear, it's a uh, it's only a two-legged bear. But, again, right there is the hair. And if it was a bear, again, there should have been more tracks than just two going through that mud. There should have been at least six, seven, or eight, if possible, you know, with walking four legs. Also, there's something else I want to show you too, guys. When we went down that dirt road, okay, after we came back, we was on that road for a while walking. When we came back, we found a handprint on the side of the vehicle. This is the first time ever that I have had this happen, okay? That is definitely a handprint, guys. I mean... Look, you can even see the ridges in it, all right? There was nobody out there but us. Nobody came through the whole time we was out there. And again, like I said, this is an area where Bigfoot activity has been reported a lot. And also, I want to show you something, guys. Okay, you see this right here? I'm going to do my hand back here just to show you something. Look at her, guys. Absolutely nothing. The only thing you see is where I took the dust off the car. That, that right there is a greasy handprint. Okay? That's been on there now for what? Almost five days? At least five days, and it still hasn't come off. Driving down the road, the wind, the rain, still hasn't come off, guys. That's a greasy handprint. And like I said, that's the first time that's ever happened. But that's definitely a handprint. Definitely. Again, that's what happened. We went down that dirt road, done some squats, and we came back. We have a handprint on the car. And again, we found two tracks. They were over six feet apart. And like I said, if it's a bear, then that bear is walking with only two legs. Got a long black hair there, as you can see. And also, like I said, there's a big gap between the toes. Okay? So.
But again, guys, I mean, I'm thinking, like I said, it may have been walking on its tiptoes when it came through. But that's an interesting find, guys. It really is. Two tracks over six feet apart. Got some hair in there. Same exact area within probably a half a mile of each other. We get the handprint on the vehicle. Thanks, guys.